We're going to have a few minutes here, uh, Groucho. What's the worst film you ever did? Most of them, I would say. No, now you know that in, when your movies play at the various places around the country, that they the can't, you can't get into them. There are people just line up for blocks, and they're hotter than they've ever been now. And it's a strange thing, and this is true. When we made these pictures, we, get, we didn't get any fan mail, an occasional letter or somebody. Yeah. But now, in the 35 years since the pictures, we get over 100 letters a week, fan mail. Yeah. The kids yeah. are crazy about these pictures. I know. And yeah. it's it's most Who extraordinary. Do you, do you, the boys, I'm sure... The you know, we own pieces of some of them. You do? Mm -hmm. We don't own them. We weren't that bright. That's yeah. right. Nobody, uh, when you try to save film, even today, the stars never saved anything mm -hmm. or owned anything that they had. The only one was Mary Pickford, and I think Charlie Chaplin owns all his, right? Oh, yes. He was very but shrewd I, about that. I was that. hoping maybe th th that you boys had uh, yeah. produced yours and owned them. The nicest compliment I've had was Chapman. I was uh, I met him in the Brown Derby one day many years ago. He said, I wish I could talk on the screen the way you do. I said, I wouldn't worry about it. You're doing all that. <laughs> he had $50 million by that time. <laughs> now his pictures are coming back, and they should, because oh, he was the greatest comedian. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. no doubt about it. And probably the richest, uh, richest I would say. They say he has, actually has gold bricks in the cellar in, um, <laughs> in, in Switzerland. But when he left here, he wasn't allowed to take anything. That's right. So but, but he had he seen to the uh, rights of his films, which supported he, him. He saved his film, yeah. but he didn't sell them for many, many years. So he was lucky to have overcome yeah. it. Didn't you all marry late in life? All the brothers married relatively late. I mean, I believe Harpo, Harpo was in his forties. Harpo, Harpo was around thirty-seven when he got married. Yeah. He had seen what happened to me in my marriages, and decided to stay single as long as possible. What is the right age to marry? The first time I got married was the right age, thirty. Yeah. Are you proposing? No, I'm not. No, I was merely looking for advice, or at least to many people who may be considering marriage. I was wondering, you being a somewhat of an expert in the author of Memoirs of a Mangy Lover, um, <laughs> might want to... Uh... I think it's much smarter to get a nice girl and live with her and don't get married. Do you? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Because the, uh, I don't know... Smarter the for who? Smarter for the man or the woman? Hmm. I'll tell you what I think. Don't tell me. <laughs> I think a woman, yeah. after she's married a few years, frequently she loses her charm, and the husband starts chasing, looking either for a younger girl or one that he's bored with. It's amazing to me that any couple can remain married all their life. There are so many reasons why they shouldn't be. Well, I don't think it's just they can women, be bored. though. I think well, that the men can get become bored too. Yeah. But, I think uh, it's, it takes a great deal of uh, hard work to make a marriage work. Okay. But I don't think that it's necessarily the man or the woman. It's the couple that make it happen. And I agree with you that you, you have to work hard at staying interesting and not becoming a kvetch, which means a, a needle, you know, all the time. Because to have a brittle tongue is to be the most unenjoyable companion. If everybody can just remain companionable. No, but I'm, I'm very funny. <laughs> We were talking about you. We were saying well, in general, in general. No, no, I'm talking about me. I'm not interested in generals. <laughs> we, we, Might be a good switch. We, I have to leap right in here. We have a, a message from our local station. You mean I can't talk? Remember, that was one of our old numbers. Let, <laughs> what listen. picture is that from? Oh, a wise guy. Horse feathers. <laughs> Say, speaking of horse feathers, Debbie has to leave. Uh, <laughs> What's that, Captain? Uh, no, I was just making it because she's late for a USO thing or something, and I wanted to uh, let you. It was really fun being with Groucho. I love you. It's wonderful. Wonderfully talented but man. Do one of your elaborate exits for us, <laughs> would you? Where you sort of sail off. <laughs>